Oh my gosh, uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg was uh, a genuine pioneer uh, in the law. Uh, you know, very, very few can even be mentioned in the same breath with her. So when it comes to women's rights, she's clearly the biggest figure uh, in the law and every bit the figure that Thurgood Marshall was uh, in terms of developing the rights for African uh, African Americans. And so, you know, in that sense, if, look, if Antonin Scalia was a lion in the law, Ruth Bader Ginsburg was a lioness. Uh, and, you know, she, she will have a well deserved legacy um, for her, you know, for what she did over the course of her long uh, and distinguished career. Did conservatives have reason to fear Ruth Bader Ginsburg? I don't know whether fear is the right word, particularly because she was rather slight of stature. But, uh, you know, she was a formidable figure under any circumstances, whether as a litigant or as uh, as a judge on the D.C. Circuit or a justice on the Supreme Court. I remember Antonine uh, Scalia, they were close friends and, and had a mutual admiration society. And they said that, you know, th they would read each other's opinions very, very carefully uh, and it would sharpen their thinking and improve the quality of their reasoning uh, in, in their opinions. And I think that Ruth Bader Ginsburg, whether you agreed with her or not, and I frequently did not, uh, you had to respect her. And she was uh, well liked and respected across the political spectrum and certainly by all of her colleagues. What do you think happens from here? Do you think we're going to see maybe with just a few weeks to the election, one of the most fierce confirmation battles we've ever seen in history? Oh, yeah. I, look, I think that this is going to make uh, the Kavanaugh uh, confirmation hearings seem like uh, a, a dust up. Um, because if, if President Trump is the person who will appoint uh, Justice Ginsburg's replacement, uh, you're going to be replacing you know, a liberal icon uh, with uh, you know, probably a, a solid conservative. We haven't seen a shift like that from one uh, nomination, I think, since Thurgood Marshall was replaced by Clarence uh, Thomas. And so this could have a real effect on the, uh, on the ideological balance of the court. Of course, if the Republicans don't hold and Vice President Biden uh, wins and he is the person who gets to nominate Justice Ginsburg's replacement, that'll be a very different dynamic. I'm sure. Do you think the fact that uh, she was a woman, that, that that Trump almost has to nominate a woman to replace her? I don't know whether he almost has to do anything. Uh, he, it, it may be something that enters into their political calculus. And, and fortunately, he has a number of well-qualified women uh, on his list of 44 uh, potential Supreme Court justices. Obviously, I think the one that will be topmost of mind for most people will be Judge Amy Coney Barrett. Uh, on the Seventh Circuit. And if she is the person who gets the nod, I hope she gets confirmed because she would be a superb Supreme Court justice. And sure to be one of the most controversial. She already had a big controversy just getting onto the circuit court, right, where she is now? She did, uh, although anybody who watched that confirmation hearing uh, was well aware of the fact that she held, you know, showed great grace under fire. Okay. Well, thank you so much, John Malcolm of the Heritage Foundation. We appreciate your time. Good to be with you.